All right, it is first weekend in November, and I have got to get this thing done before, what was that, March? Probably April, end of April? Yeah, we got plenty of time. Look at all the stuff we're doing. So this is the real deal build. It's happening now. Um, so yesterday came in um, with co-driver Dane Wheeler and we cut and made uh, that kind of build table, this piece of MDF that's here. Uh, cut that on the CNC and kind of laid out the whole grid uh, where you can see the steel sitting now. Uh, but because this thing needs to be, needs to transport and move from site to site, uh, but mainly between work and home and back, uh, it needs to be able to stay flat. So we did that by kind of gluing in, these are all dadoed in, little stringers, um, and then there are cross bracing that goes between the whole thing. So that should hopefully, that little grid should hopefully keep everything flat. You know, I'm not out here trying to build an Indy car, an F1 car, but it would be nice if it was flat and square. It'd be a nice uh, addition to the build to have something that is actually well built. So uh, in the name of that game, uh, you can see we're missing a couple pieces of metal right here. Uh, that is because in cutting parts yesterday, I made a couple small mistakes and Dan was like, these don't look great. And I was like, they'll be fine. And then I came back in today and I was like, man, those really don't look great. Let's not cut any corners. Let's make sure this thing fits well and looks good. So uh, actual technical stuff. Um, this is all inch and a quarter, uh, 11 gauge. So that's one, two, oh, wall steel. So it's stout, but it's also the floor of the car. So it's not like you can get your weight any lower. So that is obviously advantageous for us. Uh, but you'll notice that there are some really big openings in the floor, mainly up front here. Normally there would be some cross bracing uh, to make sure that everything stays square because rectangles want to rack and twist. And we don't want that to happen. We want everything to stay exactly the way it is. But instead of putting in another bar, which would then lift us up off the ground an inch and a half, or I mean an inch and a quarter, um, what we're going to do is actually put in a, a full size sheet of I think right now the plan is 13 gauge, 14 gauge, somewhere in that range, um, steel, and it'll be literally full steel. And then we will stitch weld that in all the way around. So this whole thing will have a, basically a sheet of steel underneath the bottom and probably up front underneath our feet. Um, I need to kind of get some things built before I put that in there because I want to get some weight to find a figure out how much extra weight we're gonna need in there. But right now, um, like I said, it's it's somewhere around that kind of like uh, basically 083, 095, somewhere in that thickness range of steel. Um, definitely under the driver, possibly underneath the foot box, possibly even more uh, back here underneath the engine. So uh, we'll see what happens. But yeah, so when you see big openings like that, obviously that is not optimal, uh, but there's a plan uh, in place for this one, which is welded in plate steel underneath the car. Um, yeah, man, super stout. Plus it's nice because, you know, like I said, I'm, I've been planning on building the car around the higher minimum weight, which is 850. And we are working on getting that engine that's legal for that weight class, for that 600 CC motor. So hopefully that will happen soon. We'll see. But uh, yeah, the build is happening. So next steps are to, you know, go pick up that steel, get those last couple pieces cut, and then everything has to come back off because, you know, you don't want to just like butt joint right up with a flat edge. So everything has to get, let's see if we'll focus on that kind of, has to get a little chamfer, uh, have to get all the, uh, get a good weld surface by getting off some of that uh, mill scale off the steel. Um, had to get a couple holes drilled, got that done today. Um, trying to think ahead to some of the stuff, you know, obviously like I might've been able to get a stubby drill bit and a right angle drill and like hand drilled that, but you know, this is a pivot and it'd be nice if everything lined up just right. So did that before we're gonna weld it together. And then I will actually probably make a jig to make sure, you know, it'll either just be this piece of threaded rod, but make sure this all stays together so that that hole is all, uh, you know, collinear, I guess you could say. Um, so that everything lines up right there. So anyway, uh, yeah, progress, progress, progress. And then soon we will be 
working on steel parts in the evening and then during the day making bodywork parts. Um, just finished up the bodywork design and I uh, think it's pretty much done. So kind of, you know, the team helped substantially with uh, just aerodynamic questions and how do we make the thing and make it, you know, be what it needs to be, which is an autocross specific car um, and take advantage without causing any undue or unintended consequences. So uh, that part's all done. But for right now, for this video, it's all about the frame. Um, yeah, time to pack up. I think the uh, next video you'll see, we'll probably have this whole kit and caboodle back home on the trailer. Um, Cause that's probably where I'll do all of my welding. So time to get to work and that's all I got for you. All right, hugs and kisses, bye-bye.